to put mallory in it somebody's already put one piece in it i'm gonna put another piece in there it needs to be put in up here and i gotta put a piece on the other end fixture I built to hold sleeve for these aluminum blocks where the guys have to change sleeves at the racetrack and stuff. Got a little bolt here, screws in and goes against the flats on the sleeves and I've actually bored this the same size as what the block is so it'll have the same press as what uh, like the CN blocks have. Uh, I'm not sure about some of the others, but I've worked with several of those. And that way I can bore the sleeve, o-ring it, and hone it, and it can be changed at the racetrack without having to do all that stuff at the racetrack. Some of the sleeves come that way, uh, depending on what block it is. These sleeves are, they're rough board. Uh, there's no o-ring in them. So I'll show you how to put it in and get it bored and an O-ring cut in it. Get my torch out and heat it up. down in there, make sure it's down. I screw my little bolt in against the flap just to make sure. Snug it just barely, tighten the camera up and let it cool off a little bit. And I'll come back and put an O-ring groove and bore it. I'll show you all how to do that. expansion fingers to center it. Lock it down. Have this O-ringing tool that they make cut the groove with. This dial indicator up here in the top. Let's see if I can the camera moves so y'all can see. There we go. I'll drop it down. Indicator just touching. I don't know where I'm at. Slow so the speed down. Pretty slow. Go down to your touch off. We got it zeroed. And then we will crank it down and cut her groove. She's a 41,000 wire, so we'll cut her groove right at 30,000 feet. Have to kind of keep changing the speed, so we'll keep some of the chatter out of it. There we go. 
Got it cut right at 30 deep. Nice little groove in it. And here we got our mic that we use and a little allen here to loosen the set screw on it. Usually takes a couple two or three passes. We got it set. Four, five, eighteen, close enough. Go back up here and move our stop back up. There we go. And that's how I prep a sleeve before I put it in a block. And I can do sleeves uh, for customers. If they're trying to change them at the racetrack, it'll be finished home, have the O-ring in it, and all they have to do is just pop the other one out, drop this one in, put a new rod and piston in it, and off they go. I will stop the video now and start it back up here in just a little bit. Okay, we got one pass through it. it takes about three passes. We get it out. It's a little bit warm, not bad. You can touch it. But yeah, we got a board, got the O-ring groove cut in it. Uh, it's ready to go in the block and be honed. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll move this fixture into my honing tank and I can put the sleeves back in and I can hone the extra ones that we're gonna have for that block. And I'll put the others in his block and finish those in the home. Okay, I thought I'd do a little short one here. Got this crankshaft set up on the mill. Got to add a couple pieces of Mallory to it. Put a 90 degree head on the mill. And then I have these little brackets, fixtures, holders, whatever you want to really call them, to hold the crankshaft. Just clamps down 
off these screws. They're made out of aluminum, doesn't hurt the crankshaft at all. And this way, I'm not having to try to stand the crankshaft up to put Mallory in it. Somebody's already put one piece in it. I'm gonna put another piece in there. It needs to be put in up here. And I gotta put a piece on the other end. So I thought I might do a little one, show you what that entails. up the collet. Okay, if that one side drilled, I gotta flip the crankshaft around. Do the other end. Drilled it, reamed it. And then I'll press the or hammer the Mallory. Not too hard of a process to do once you figure out what you're doing. And kind of get it set up like a other end. in both ends now get this taken off the see the hole down there get it taken off the mill and put the mallory in it and finish balancing it cutting fluid seemed to work real well i uh, hope you all check them out the unis company little unit up there nice little deal got it set up over here on my welding table uh, aluminum plate i built just one inch thick cut some slots in it so I can slide crankshafts up on it, clamp it to the table. Makes it easy to knock the metal in. knocking it in there's a lot of people say oh you don't need to weld it and all this I still run a little bead around just to make sure that it doesn't try to move uh, I've seen them move before so I'm gonna run a little bead around it Just a precaution, just a safety feature to make sure it doesn't move around or anything. I have seen the pieces come loose and it will definitely destroy a motor if that thing comes out or even starts to come out. So that's kind of why I do that on them. Let it cool off here and I put it back on the balancer and finish balancing it. 